Welcome to our program on Kardec Radio. Hello, dear friend. Welcome to the Prayer for Peace moment on Kardec Radio. I'm your host, Daniel Peon. Really happy to be here one more Monday with you at 5.30. Dear friends, as always, I invite you to in this initial moment, join me in initial prayer so we can tune in with the high spirits. And then we can be better prepared to pray for our brothers and sisters who are in most need. So if you can, please go to a calm place. I'll put some Thule music for us. I also invite you to close your eyes if you can. And join me in your own voice. As we praise our Mother, Father God. Dear God, thank you so much for allowing us to be here incarnated in this planet one more day and be able to be here one more time together dedicating a little of our day to think and pray to the ones who are in most need. We know we are passing through a difficult time on Earth where peace is a treasure and that no, not everyone has the pleasure to be, to feel every day. But knowing that you, dear God, is the source of peace in the universe, we kindly ask you to bless our planet and bless everyone who needs it. We are very thankful for the text and the message that we are going to be receiving today from Andre Luis and for all the, all the work, not only from Andrew Luis, but from Chico Xavier and the spirits involved in sharing knowledge and caring for us. We also kindly ask the blessing of our Lord Jesus Christ, who is our brother who care the most for us. And with much gratitude in our hearts, we kindly ask for your protection and your permission to start this prayerful moment of the day. And so be it. Okay. <laughs> so let's take a look in this very short text that I was mentioning in our initial prayer. So it's called... Um, the only measurement. Um, so Andre Luis, um, in this very short text, tells us about what is the most important measure. <laughs> so let's see. So this says, the ID provides information about yourself. The calendar tells you physical age, your physical age. The clock marks your time. The meter specifies the dimensions of your body. The altitude reveals your temporary location on the ocean level. 
the ink records your fingerprints. The work demonstrates your skills. The angiography provides an examination of your organs. The electrocardiograph determines the oscillations of your heart muscle. All states of your conditions, needs and achievements can be defined by machines, devices, instruments, equipments, laboratories, and files on Earth. However, do not forget that helping others is the only accurate measurement of your spiritual achievements. Yeah. <laughs> so in a very short phrase, he passed a very important message to us. And as we, we are here together, pray for peace, think about others. It's good that we are trying to make good. <laughs> and so we can not forget, but put aside all other measurements we have in life. So we can focus on the measurement that, that really matters. Because if we consider eternal life, right, what is the measurements of this specific time frame while incarnated, meaning um, fingerprints or organs or muscles, all these types of measurements are, are just a blink, right? So let's, let's take in consideration this measure, this message, do not forget. So Andrea Luis says, do not forget. Helping others is the only accurate measurement of your spiritual achievements. So that means that the more, the more we, we help others, the more we have spiritual achievements. And this is something we, we could take advantage and could take benefit of. Um, so we can start this week with a different uh, view <laughs> of what we should measure. <laughs> Dear friends, that's it. It is a small text, um, a short text, but a powerful one that I decided to share. I hope it helps um, um, a bit us to, to modify our, our view. And then um, I invite you now to do the good, <laughs> to increase uh, the measurement of our spiritual achievement by a small prayer. And uh, so it's going to be a small increase. <laughs> but maybe a sig significant one if we do pray with the bottom of our hearts. So I will stop sharing. I'll put some soothing music. And I invite you to concentrate Take a deep breath. As we ask together to our Lord Jesus Christ to help us. Dear Jesus, you are always being so kind to us. And we do know that there is no device on earth that can measure the size of your spiritual grandness. 
because you do help others all the time. And you showed us how you care for all the spiritual beings who are in this planet. So we ask you, dear Lord, to please guide us and help us see and focus our attention and thoughts on our brothers and sisters who are in most need. Allow us through this week to see with the eyes of the Spirit the ones who are in most need so we can help them through our daily activities and our thoughts through our prayers. And now we would like to do this. So allow us to connect with them as we visualize them on the streets, on poverty situations, on nursing homes, hospitals, schools, prisons, war zones, refugee camps, in positions of power and influence, but also in desperate situations in our family and in the greatest family of humanity as we visualize them all Please, dear Lord, allow a shower of flower going down on them, curing their pure spirit and cleansing from all the evil, all the bad sensations. from all the hurt and all the hopelessness. And as we visualize all these bad sentiments being cleansed, vanishing from their pure spirit, we also visualize a beautiful light coming from inside out, bringing them love, and peace so they can feel hope in a better tomorrow thank you dear Lord and with much gratitude in our hearts we kindly ask your permission and protection to finalize this prayerful minute, this prayerful moment of today. And so be it. Okay, all right. Dear friends, thank you so much for your time and for your thoughts. And um, Stay tuned because at 6 p.m. we have online spiritual care at Kardec Radio and also 
um, next Monday, 5.30, God willing, I'll be here. So I wish you a beautiful week ahead. And see you next time. Big kiss. Bye-bye. <laughs>